Mayo from outside, no good, and it's going to be rebounded by Barassa. Leads over to uh, uh, no look pass. They try to go to Burnell, and it's going to be Benefit's ball. They say it's out on Thornton, alumni. 3-11 left to go till halftime. 31-24. Tigers uh, trail in this one. The 2004 class was a really nice class for Benefit. And Barassa falls down after he gets a shot off. And look at oh, uh, <laughs> They try the old alley-oop play to Shaw. Almost worked. Shaw from outside rims it out this time as it gets tipped. Shaw pushes it up to uh, Abdul Mohammed. And no good. And we're going to draw a foul on Thornton Academy before the shot was made. So Benefit's ball with 2.47 left. They're down by seven. Thorne did have a 12-point lead. And since Tarlow's been on the court, they've uh, lowered it. Muhammad cannot find the range. Again, he had pretty much no warm-up coming into this one. Him and uh, Tarlow, who now steals the ball. Tarlow back, looks to Muhammad up off the glass. Too strong again. And they go to Shaw. <laughs> so she just hugs Shaw. And Shaw's got a nice smile there. And she says, I'm not giving you this one. You get enough points already. Kind of a friendly hug. It, it drew a smile to Shaw's face. So being guarded by Saucy as they kick it back now. No good, and nice strong rebound by Burnell as Harass is going to push the ball up. And we're going to get a foul on Dupree. We're under two minutes left to go here until halftime. And Thornton holds that 31 24 lead. Not much scoring so far here in the uh, second quarter. Not like the first. Seems like it's slowed down a little bit. Outside shot by Burnell, a three-pointer made. Five points, it's a four-point Thornton lead, a battle won by Biddeford's Muhammad. Muhammad been hit half his shots, and Biddeford has been probably up by two. Oh, no good, a chance that Barassi gets the rebound, bounce pass to Tardif. Tardif back, Justin Tardif for the three. Fresh out of the car. Benefit coming back just like the first game, 31 to 30. They trail, Shaw with a three. Oh, he sinks it in. Boy, he is so fluent and so impressive. 17 points already for him. Tired of back, no good. Burnell gets a nice job with the rebound. They kick it back to Saucia. Saucia will set, and that's a, that's a cherry three for Saucia. Tell you, we're going to have to count up these three-point shots made by Biddeford as they uh, trail by one and Shaw trying to go downtown. Biddeford has a chance to take the lead after trailing by 12. Since Justin Todd has been on the floor, Biddeford has gone from trailing 31-29 to leading. 36-34 by Burnell. He is uh, at the hot hand. So the coach has arrived, folks. Good foot up by two with 40 seconds left. In till half. Mayo, high arc and three. He's got a three. Tell you, the quality of basketball we've seen has been really good. 37-36, we have another good basketball game here at the Tiger Gym. That first one was a doozy. And Biddeford trails by one and looking for the last shot. Down to 14 and counting. Uh, Barassa uh, tries to uh, get some traffic going. Looks like he wants to take it in. Get it. Saucier left open. No good. And that is pretty much going to do it right here. Burnell gets an off balance one hander. So we play the half here from the Tiger Gym. And the score is Thornton alumni 37 and Benefit 36. We'll be back, folks. Okay, we're back here as uh, we get set for the second half of this uh, 21st century alumni game, first annual. 37-36, Thornton leads. Scoring really quickly for Benefit, unofficially Bobby Cody with three, Kyle Fector with three, 
Justin Tardiff with three. Eight for Phil Barassa, five for Barrett Belanger, six for Jeff Saucier, eight for Andrew Burnell. Uh, no shots, no attempts from the foul line. Uh, first half for Thornton uh, unofficially. Again, two for Corey Martin as Bobby Cody picks up two as he drives the lane. That's five now for uh, Cody. Uh, two for Jason Dupree, 17 for Andrew Shaw. Uh, and that is a tip in by Corey Martin. That's four now for him. Uh, so Justin Blake had five, three for Mike Birchill, seven for Sean Mayo. They were four for four from the line. They led 23 to 17 after one, 37 to 36 at halftime. And Andrew Shaw just makes it look so easy as uh, 19 points now for Shaw. We thought just by seeing him in this lineup that he would be pretty dominating if he wanted to be. He could probably control half this game. And uh, he shows why he's such a great player. And a three-point attempt is made off the screen by Justin Blake. So eight points now for Blake. And outside shot and three points for Barrett Melander. His second three of the game. I think this Biddeford's gotten 11 threes out of the 41 points, 11 baskets of 30 uh, from uh, three points. Follow on Biddeford's Fecto, and it will be uh, Corey Martin going to the line. 11 baskets for Biddeford from the three point line. the foul shot, Brunel and Saucia come in, Cody comes out along with LeBlanc. And misses both, and the battle is won by Barrasso. Two big guys fought for the ball. is gonna take it in by himself and draws the foul. Those are two players out on the court right now that if they want to, they can take over this any game, I think, uh, that they play in. That's Shaw and Barassa. Barassa will get two. Finally, but if he gets to the foul line. for Barassa in this one. He becomes a leading scorer for the Tigers. Yeah, he's got them both. So it's a 44-43 uh, Thornton lead with six minutes left here in the uh, third quarter. As uh, Jeff Saucer with the rebound off the uh, Thornton miss. Barassa looking for Fecto. Actually, they get it to Fecto now. Belanger thought about it. Barassa with a three, and he gets knocked down, and that's going to be three shots for Barassa. Yeah, he'll get three. Shooting three for Barassa. Shooting three. And Barassa three for three from the line. Uh, that one to go, the first miss for him. Trying to break a tie, and he does. So Tiger's up now, 45-44. I know I've said it before, uh, a lot of... Oh, we got a foul on uh, Winnie for Thornton. So bit of its ball here with 536 left in the third. Tigers up by one. We've seen two very competitive games, very close, could go either way type games. So they've done a good job matching it up. 
And then Brunel, uh, not Brunel, but Shaw, uh, drive the baseline and then heavy traffic and just kicks it right back out. Shaw from outside, no good. And it's going to be uh, Barrett Belanger. And Aaron Pass, it's going to be taken now by Biddeford. Whoa, Barassa. <laughs> he gets kind of knocked down and uh, trying to, important player trying to hold him up. As, uh, it's going to be a foul on Thornton, and Biddeford will get it back. A little collision there that time, but nice sportsmanship by one of the Thornton players as he tried to hold Barassa up. And that's going to be a shot by Saucer outside. Thornton makes some wholesale changes. Uh, sending uh, Mayo and Dupree and 21 is Dan Winnie. And 33 is Mike Burchill. Uh, Dee Muhammad now in for Biddeford along with uh, Justin Tardiff and Burnell, Saucier and Barassa. 4.43 left to go here in the third quarter. Biddeford up by one, 45 to 44. And we're gonna get double dribble, they say, on Thornton. Benefit game, but you know, they're still not too happy about that. Barassa comes down, fires the three, no good. He gets tipped by Tardiff. Over to uh, Tardiff. Justin Tardiff, a little bit strong that time, off the glass. Some of his players are sitting right back in the Thornton bench, and they were talking to him at halftime. I'll tell you, you know, uh, Mike Fecto did a great job with the Benefit basketball program, and Benefit didn't get a win this year. But this, I'll tell you one thing from what I've seen, uh, all the effort he puts into this thing, this basketball program at Benefit will be in good hands. Uh, they have complete confidence and faith in what Justin's doing, working a lot with the lower class groups and putting things together like the summer programs where the uh, older alumni are getting together with the uh, high school kids are playing with the uh, youth kids and they're mix and matching games and stuff like this. Uh, the first annual alumni game to raise money. He's doing an awful, awful lot with this program and uh, this will only be, the, uh, the kids of Biddeford will only be the uh, benefactors of, uh, of what Justin's putting together right now. He's really putting his heart and soul into this program. And don't judge, you know, a book by its cover. They were 0 and uh, whatever it was, 18. But uh, that's about to change, folks. That's that's not. if it had a lot of young players and a lot of kids coming up in the program. And and Tardif now steals. He's got two on one. Tries to bounce pass to Nick LeBlanc, pushes it back to Bobby Cody. Cody gets a good look in the three. And. Uh, Eight points now for Bobby Cody, and Biddeford has a four-point lead as they go to Sean Mayo. He waits for the traffic to clear and makes an easy bank off the glass for the two points. Well, Mayo with nine points. Cody trying to heat up here from the outside, and Thornton will get it back. We're under three minutes left to go here in the third quarter from the Tiger Gym. 21st century game, Andy Corey along with Jeff Scott. Burchill from outside, it's an air ball, and Cody will be the uh, recipient of that. Get it down low to LeBlanc, kicks it back to Muhammad, who's yet to hit a shot. Cardiff with the three. Swift. Justin Cardiff, another three. Don't forget, Cardiff uh, showed up uh, as the game started. Didn't get any warm ups in himself, and he's hit two three pointers. And the tempo of the game seems to have changed when he entered the game. But if it has a four on two, but a nice play by Burchill to slap it away and, and save a, uh, an odd man rush down the court. Oh, slapped nicely by LeBlanc. He's got Tardif running the floor now. Justin Tardif is going to pivot back to Muhammad. And we're going to get a foul, I think. Or uh, steps. A turnover by Biddeford. Barassa re enters the game. 154 left to go here in the third quarter. Biddeford has their biggest lead. 
51 to 46. Uh, Tigers up over Thornton Academy here in quarter number three. So Tigers have a five point lead. And if it's fared very well here tonight in the alumni games, this one's not far from being over. I know coast to coast drive by uh, Justin Blake. And that's uh, 10 points now for Blake. He's been quietly in double figures as we're gonna get a foul coming down the court on Thornton. And Biddeford will have it under their basket. So it's a three point Tiger lead. 51-48, and Cody from outside, and he gets it, a three-pointer for Bobby Cody. Bobby Cody for two. Seems like Benefit's built their teams on three points as Barrasso, oh, fakes, nice pass to Muhammad, no good, he can't finish it off. Wow, that was a spectacular play by Barrasso. And Thornton comes back. And Winnie for three. For three, for Winnie. And that's his first basket of the game. I think all but three players scored in the first game that we did. Only like two or three players on the whole roster. Both teams uh, scored. Barraza may have gotten away with it up and down there. Muhammad finally hits. Abdi Muhammad hits a three. And the Tigers are known for their three-point shooting. And I don't care if you're an alumni or a player, that's what they keep doing. Dupree is an air ball, but underneath it's Winnie again. Good position by Dan Winnie. Five points for Winnie. Quickly here, and he keeps Thornton into it. Benefit leads by 57 to 53 with uh, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. And Barassa holding it up high. Benefit is looking for the last shot. And now they challenge uh, Barassa outside. And the coach of the Bonnie Eagle Scots, 2004 graduate. We're going to follow on Justin Blake. That'd be Muhammad also out there now. He is a 2008 graduate. Saucier re enters the game for Burnell. 10.1 seconds left here in the quarter. Benefit trying to finish this up. Nice pass to Saucier. Saucier misses his attempt at a three. And uh, LeBlanc uh, gets the rebound, fires one up at the buzzer, and it doesn't go in. So, we play three for the Tiger Gym. One more to go at least. It's 57 53. The Tigers lead, and we'll be back. Okay, we're set for quarter number four. Eight minutes at least left. 57-53, uh, Benefit leads. Thornton has the ball. They are going from right to left. Benefit going to the entrance of the Tiger Gym. Andrew Shaw has been very dominating. Uh, he has 19 in this one. Outside shot, no good. They've got some height in there now. As uh, they try to uh, win the height battle, as Burnell is also in the lineup for Benefit. Leading scores are uh, Shaw 19 and 10 for Justin Blake. For a bit, if you're looking at him, another three point shot by Phil Barrasso. 15 points for Barrasso in this one, 13 for Bobby Cody. Eight apiece for Barry Belanger and Andrew Burnell. We're going to get a foul, I think. Foul on Muhammad. will be Thornton's ball. 60 to 53 after that three point shot. But if it just hit a Donovan. Well, Shaw's gonna probably look to take over here. As he, uh, they're gonna guard him heavy. He's kind of being guarded by Parasa. Size wise, it's gotta be a mismatch. Two very competitive people. And then age wise, you're looking at uh, at least seven years difference. Barrasso graduating in 04, Burnell, I mean, uh, 11. Oh, a drive, and and the basket is good by Barrasso. Wow, call foul on Thornton. 17 points for Barrasso. As they say, he draws the foul.
And Grassley can't hit, but rebound by, oh, almost, and he's tripped up by no call. And it's Thornton Academy, outside shot by no good. Battle inside, they go back to Corey Martin, up and in. Martin, six, six points now in the game for Martin. And Thornton trails by seven here in the fourth quarter. And Muhammad gets a shot off, and uh, no good, 62-55, but if it leads, with six and a half left to play in regulation time. They go back low to Martin, turn around jumper, and no good but a pushing off foul on Brunel. And Martin will go to the line. Thought really picking up the tempo here. They look to, uh, to make a uh, game of this. As you know, I don't care what year you graduate, the competitive juices are still flowing. Martin and Barras are the only two that have scored this quarter. And Martin makes them both. So we have a five point Biddeford lead, 62-57. Uh, First game ended up 61 to, I believe, 57. So boy, I tell you, they've both been about even. But we still got six minutes left. Oh, a three pointer by Barrett Melander. Bit of it back up by eight. Barrett Belanger bang, uh, nails a three from the corner. He's being well guarded, too. Winnie gets it tipped away. He still manages to get it outside to Burchill. Shar underneath. Can't get it to go. Burnell with the rebound. <laughs> Foul called. Underneath Muhammad with a reverse layup for an easy two. Eight, six. Five points for Muhammad as uh, Thorn had a good chance to get right back in this one. As outside, it's Winnie, no good. Battle by Burchill gets it to Winnie again underneath.